Hey guys, we're going to look at doing screenshots. Now, sometimes you need to do a screenshot because there is perhaps something not working on your computer and you need to show the IT guy like, hey, this is what I'm seeing on my screen. Take a screenshot, send it to them. Sometimes you want to take various screenshots of different windows and put them into a document for some reason. So I'm going to show you two ways that you can do a screenshot. The first one is using the insert screenshot feature. Now I'm currently in Microsoft Word. This will work in Excel, uh, PowerPoint, Publisher and other apps as well. But this is a very particular particular to uh, Microsoft Office applications. Now let's have a look. I want to use the insert screenshot feature. So I go insert, I go to screenshot, there it is, it's in my illustrations group, click on screenshots, alright, now I've got two things that I can choose here, I can choose an existing window that is currently open on my machine, or I can do a screen clipping. So it's up to you what you're going to do. If it's a whole window, then you'll just go ahead and select the window. So for example, let's say it's that. That's the window there. Click. It actually takes a screenshot of the entire window and pops it right there on your page. There you go. That's actually quite a nice way of doing it. But let's say you want to just a particular portion of the window, not the whole window. You don't want to go and paste it down like this and then still end up cropping it. So I'm going to remove that for the moment. Go back to Insert back to screenshots and I'm going to choose screen clipping. Now when I click screen clipping, Word is going to go to the background, it's going to get out of the way, my screen is going to turn like this opaque white and I can now, you see my mouse is now like a crosshair and I can go and select just what I would like to include in the screenshots. The moment I release the mouse button, Whatever I have selected is automatically put onto my Word document. And this will work for Excel and PowerPoint and Publisher as well. So it's actually pretty cool. Now the other one is a keyboard shortcut. So if you forgot about inserting the screenshot and choosing a window or choosing screen clipping here, you can actually use a keyboard shortcut. And it's the window key. I'm going to write it down here. And uh, the shift key and the letter S. Window, Shift, S. Those three keys together. Let me show you what it does. So I'm going to minimize. I'm going to minimize Microsoft Word. I've got another window in the background here. Here it is here. Window key, Shift, S. You'll notice I have this little bar at the top. I can do a rectangular snip, a freeform snip. I can do a window snip, or I can actually do a full screen snip. I can choose any one of these. Now, this is the old Windows snipping tool, which I think is now called Snip and Sketch. Snip and Sketch. But this keyboard shortcut is super quick. So watch, Windows Shift S, here's my crosshair. Now, it's not a white color, it's sort of dark and everything a bit. Select something, release. Okay, so you'll notice now nothing else has happened. That's because what I have selected in my snip has gone onto the Windows clipboard. I can now paste that anywhere. So if I go back to Microsoft Word, I can go here and I can go Control V for paste. There's the snip that I made. All right, so those are the two options you have. Insert, screenshot, pick a window or do a screen clipping or Window key Shift S select something and paste it into a window.